Okay, so I hope that was a fun little video and gives you an insight into my how I actually make my coffee. How someone who fully cares about each and every little taste, little things that just improve the coffee. Um, make sure that you're weighing your beans. That's a massive, massive part of coffee is just making sure you're weighing your beans because if you do it by volume, which a lot of people do, they just do like one scoop or two scoops. The beans change density and stuff, so it's a lot more difficult to get the same consistency. So make sure you're doing that. Weighing your water. The big thing about weighing water is that when you're pouring, you don't know how much is going into the cone then going into the cup. So you weigh your water just to know how much is going in that you're not going to overflow your cup or anything like that. But it also helps with consistency. I'm currently drinking Los Andes coffee from El Salvador. The roasters are packed roasters. They send these little cards out with every coffee. And packed is a great service for if you can't have 
if you if there isn't a roaster nearby you can still get fresh coffee delivered to your door they do 250 gram bags of coffee you can pick a grind if you need it um, you can have it whole have it whole bean they're just really good and their coffees when I first started getting them were a bit temperamental but they've really improved they do some really great coffees now and they cycle them out um, I think on a monthly basis but if you want to give them a try I have a code this isn't sponsored or anything everyone gets a code but if you get a code if you use my code it's coffee snob so it's easy to remember and all one word all caps but if you use it I think I believe you get three pound off a bag which puts it down to four pound so that's pretty good and pretty good savings as well so yeah just helping you out if you want to but this particular coffee this is Los Andes from yeah I think yeah El Salvador origin was Apaneca varietal bourbon 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 I don't know how to say that word um, I say bourbons is in the biscuits but then bourbon is in the drink so who knows but the varietal is basically the species or the breed of plant from what I've gathered. I don't really know too much about varietals. I'm definitely wanting to get into it though. Uh, 4, 1,490 meters altitude. Um, it's described, they also have this little description by, I'm covering his face, by Will here on each coffee. And Will says, this coffee has a great ripe peach flavour combined with all the traditional taste characteristics that you might expect of peach. Ripe sweetness, juicy mouthfeel and a long sweet aftertaste. I mustn't get too carried away though, it's still coffee. And it's really nice. It's a bit stale at the moment now. It's I've had it a, a few weeks at this point, probably about five weeks. So it's getting a little stale, but yeah, who cares really, as long as it's coffee. But getting your coffee fresh does make a huge difference. I can't really taste peach in this anymore. Yeah, it's a lot. There's just a staler flavour. It's not like punching you in the face anymore. Whereas if you get ripe, uh, ripe if you get fresh coffee and grind it, it makes a massive difference. Even buying whole bean from a store will make a million times difference compared to ground coffee because once you grind coffee you've got minutes you've got minutes before it loses its flavor so i don't even like a lot of people pre-grind their beans and use them the next morning i don't even do that that's grinding the beans is part of the process everything one of the reasons i love coffee so much is it's all a ritual at this point doing everything step by step, following instructions and maybe changing them depending on the coffee. It's just such an amazing process that I just can't like compare it to anything else that I've discovered. It's just amazing. So anyway, if you want to use my code, I'll put it down in the description down below as well. It's just coffee snob all caps for packed. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow for the last I think I've got three videos left. One, two, three. So yeah, I'll see you then.